I'm Angela V. Shelton. And I'm her very best friend, Francis Callier. We are Frangela. And welcome to another exciting episode of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. Exploring the stupid with your help. I believe that our first nominee today, I believe, comes from Damselfly. Please forgive me if I got that wrong because I was, we just did a hurry on getting this one out. Yeah. Um... Woman is, is accused of biting a Walmart worker. Yeah, a Walmart employee in Kodiak, Alaska. Alaska. You know what? People don't don't make enough to, to experience this in Alaska. The same There's way. only like 20 people there. I think so. You, you really can't afford to alienate bunches of them by biting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a 30-year-old Kodiak woman is accused <clears throat> of shoplifting and then biting an employee in the chest while he was trying to hold her in the parking lot until police arrived. Kodiak can only be this big. I mean... In in the chest. In the chest. I mean, don't you usually bite the arm or the hand or whatever? It's the chest is so. For this biting thing, it's really going to have Also, the reason that I this isn't it for me is Walmart. I think we have to take a serious look at closing Walmart. Yeah. Now, I'm not a fan of Walmart because of their practices right. of, I believe, sexual harassment, yes, underpaying people, and for um, trying to make sure that their people can't unionize and get a fair wage. I, so, I am not a, a Walmart fan to begin with. But now that it has become a haven for meth making, mm-hmm. um, assault, and zombies, I think I people need to we need yeah, to investigate the Walmart situation. We got a good, pretty good claim here. Okay, these are too, they're too big. Walmarts are too big. It's like, they're like these little universes onto themselves that have like crime communities and and good neighborhoods. Yeah, like, don't go down the cheese aisle. That yes. that is that neighborhood is it's whack. whack. Yeah. You it's know, crazy. it's like the we you, stores shouldn't be this big. This is a problem. Okay. Stop biting people. It's freaking me out, man. <laughs> How many people are getting bit all over? Aren't you getting a little freaked out? Uh, a little bit. You know, it's a zombie nation out there. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah. I'm gonna be so upset if somebody bites me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first of all, dental work is. I don't. You know, I don't. Wanna, it's gross. It's hard it's to gross. get that fixed. And oh my god, if somebody. I don't, I don't like pulled somebody, pork. You know I can't what? Imagine I believe I could beat a motherfucker's ass that came after me. Try to bite me. I'm no, try to bite me. <laughs> the, the, the first the problem I think with the biting is it's shocking. Yeah. So you first you're going to what? Am I being bit? And then and then it's like, you don't. I don't know if you know what to do. I think I would get that superhuman like crazy strength. I just I just <laughs> I can't. It makes me want to eat things that would make my flesh taste bad. <laughs> um. Next up, <laughs> this is from Specialist Mike G. Recently promoted and Private Henry L. Thank you. By now you may have heard of this story, but we still loved it. We thought it deserved it to be deserved in the stack. to get you know to be in the stack. Mm-hmm. Cleaning fairy gets busted. This is from Ohio. Mm-hmm. Ohio police have identified a real life cleaning fairy. Apparently, a woman broke into a home, did some light cleaning, and then she left a bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. With her name and her address for seventy five dollars. Yeah, this woman, uh, who was the homeowner, Sherry Bush, she said there were some coffee mugs that her husband had left out. She washed them all. She took out the trash. She got the trash. Vacuum. Yeah. Cleaned up the playroom. Yeah. Then she wrote a note on a napkin and left on the table saying seventy five dollars. I was here to clean and left her name and number. You know what, Angela? I want to say that I like this cleaning woman's moxie because. Because See, it is, you know what? Entrepreneurial. Uh, entrepreneurial. The economy is bad out there. Sometimes you got to go out there and make your own business. What I love, too, is that the family thought, perhaps, that she just got the wrong house. I love that. So they call her, and they say, you know, I think maybe you got the wrong house. We don't have a cleaning person. And she said, no, I do this all the time. And mm-hmm. the woman said, what do you mean? I just stop and clean your house. That would freak me the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'd be like, how many times have you cleaned? Why, why my house? Why are you cleaning my house? Well, I, my question is, why not my house? <laughs> okay, but you can't break into people's houses. Why not? Apparently, she had. She didn't take nothing. And then they also said the job, they didn't think it was worth $75. So they were like, maybe 15 And I'm like, <laughs> like well, you know but what? But you can't break into people's homes. Maybe they want you f- fake 15 clean your own goddamn house. <laughs> nah. Yes, you no, can. Yeah, no, Francis. No, you can't. Yes, you you can. absolutely can't. Also, this is America. You can't, no, you can't. <laughs> it's exactly. the land of the free. Yeah, exactly. You have the right. Home the right. of the brave. Home of the crazy. Get <laughs> out. You can't do that. That's like me taking a necklace, forcing it on your neck, and being like, "You owe me." You get to decide what you're purchasing. You know what, Angela? I think that we need to take capitalism in a different direction. <laughs> Okay. What? It's a forced, aggressive, 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 forced capitalism. <laughs> This is your car. Take it, drive it, take it, drive it. The economy's bad, girl. It's bad. You really it's can't really break bad. into people's homes. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can't. Don't tell them that. They're going to think you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, that. my God. I like it. I like it. I say Oh, my yes. God. 
Yeah. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that later. I'm you know what? I'm, I'm having some problems. She's having, having a lot of problems. She's having it. We need an intervention. Yeah. Next up, this is from Four Star General Jam Supply. This is in because I'm getting really fucking sick of this. Yeah. Uh, we have yet again what? Yeah. A new urinal. Yep. That allows you to play guitar while relieving yourself. It's called Guitar P. So basically, it's got a, like a guitar. It's a part of the urinal, and when you if you can, whatever you pee on, it makes that note, and they have some like pre recorded like riffs. Yeah. So you can play guitar, and also it encourages. I gotta say that this is like the fourth product, I wanna say, yeah. in the last year that's aimed at men. getting men to piss in the urinal properly. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and I have to tell you, when it. Is it this problem that bad? As a female, yeah. I do not go into men's bathrooms. It is that bad. Is it, it's so bad that we have vast numbers mm-hmm. of people mm-hmm. across continents. Yes. Creating and spending millions of dollars. Trying to figure out some way to get you to piss inside the confines of the urinal. To piss in the hole. <laughs> men, men, I know and love you. Help each other out. If yeah. you're in a bathroom <laughs> and you, you see, see somebody, somebody you're having some trouble. You know what? Reach, just reach over. <laughs> no, well, no, don't. Just ask, ask. Ask. Just then girl, reach over. And be like, hey, man, I noticed you're having some problem hitting that hole. <laughs> <laughs> now, admittedly, there's almost never a line at the men's room. So they're probably, maybe they're not maybe taking enough time. time. You know what? How about this? How about we try to encourage men to go an extra 30 seconds just, just to aim up and then go? Some wrong. It and, and it's a, and it, you can download it and share it on your MP3 player. Yeah. I hate when the people who write these articles try to be funny. And I thank you for writing them, but I don't need your little editorialization bullshit jokes. <laughs> okay, leave it to the professionals. Don't stay in your fucking lane. That's all. Now, man. Now you mad. Now you. Mad. We don't get anything like no. this in the woman's bathroom. We don't get no. nothing but please don't sign saying don't put your tampon in the toilet. Yeah. That's all we get is castigated. We don't yeah. even get it toys. No. We don't get to work. I don't understand why they can't hit the hole. <laughs> is it really hard? I should ask my husband. Grego will answer. Grego, Grego. Captain Grego, we is it really hard? I mean, I know when you're a is child. It, is it, it's like is it like a like a, a tornado or a force <laughs> that can be contained? Is or is it, it like if you get knocked off your game, like a fire hose? Yeah. Or is it is it does it spray more like a mister? Yeah. <laughs> so right? you know what? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And I think the only way for us to find out is going to get us arrested. <laughs> Dancing in bathrooms and taking notes on it. Okay, this has been a great episode. I'm <laughs> Angela. Thank you for watching Frangela's Idiot of the Week. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. I don't know what I just said. What did I just say? Oh, you know what? I have a feeling that I just had this like, I think it's a, prese- it's a presentiment. It's not a deja vu. What's a presentiment? It's a presentiment. I, have, I see a future where I'm in court trying to explain how this was the day that you started Lose Your Mind. <laughs>